In tonight's Health Watch, an important breakthrough in understanding autism. Researchers at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia have shown that children with autism have unique brainwave patterns. They believe that helps explain why autistic children have trouble communicating. NJN News Health and Medical Correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. What word is that? Come. Come. Sarah Lee? Try again. Come. Come. Complete. Yes. Okay. For Parker Leiby, a nine-year-old Burlington County boy, speech does not come easily. He was diagnosed shortly before age two with mild autism. And even with me sometimes, um, I have to ask him, Parker, what did you say? Because I can't understand him. Speak nice and clear. Take your time when you're speaking. Kim Leiby, Parker's mother, credits early intervention with making it possible for her oldest son to attend public school alongside typically developing kids. They just see the world differently than we do. They just process things a little different. Now, autism researchers at CHOP, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, think they have a better understanding why. A brainwave study using magnetoencephalography, or MEG, showed that in children like Parker, there was a noticeable delay in the way the brain processed individual sounds. Mind you, only by a fraction of a second, but a fraction of a second matters a lot in the perception of human speech. Dr. Timothy Roberts, the lead researcher, studied 64 children ages 6 to 15, including Parker. What was it like wearing that great big helmet on your head? It was like an astronaut head helmet, but it was huge. Was it cool? Yeah. Dr. Roberts says his findings support the theory that, among other things, autism is a brain connectivity disorder. What this study provides is a description of the neurophysiological defect in autism, that is the brain dysfunction in autism, which might be used uh, as a target for therapy. How important do you think this study is? I think it's wonderful. I just hope every parent will sign up their little Sally or Johnny tomorrow, because the more numbers we have, the more we can cross-reference those different brains out there. The hope is that finding biomarkers like brain waves will one day enable doctors to diagnose children right. as early as age one. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Mount Laurel.